Alrighty, so hi guys. Leave a comment down below if you want, uh, telling me whether or not you like the intro. I kind of like it. The song is Burn the House Down by Scars on 45. It was part of their demo. Uh, they're coming out with an EP soon, actually. Uh, links down below. Uh, you should definitely check them out. They're a nice little acoustic quintet. Moving on, I don't really know what to talk about today. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a few days. I've been having some trouble with my editing software. In fact, I had a whole 8 minute video edited, ready to export. My editing software froze and it deleted the file. I now have no history that I ever made it. I guess I'll just do what I did in the other video and do some uh, book reviews. So hold on one sec. Uh, first up, The Unforgiving Minute. Um, the Unforgiving Minute, actually. <laughs> Unforgiving Minute is uh, written by Craig Mullaney. It talks about what it takes to become a soldier in the U.S. today, what it takes to remain as a soldier. He went through all military training. He went to West Point, and then from there he went to Army Ranger School, which is just insanely difficult. If you need any help figuring how smart this guy is, this quote is from a Rudyard Kipling poem. If you can fill the Unforgiving Minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, the world is yours and everything that's in it, which is more, you'll be a man, my son. He shows you what it takes to be a professional soldier. He's just an amazing guy, and he's a good writer. I can't recommend it enough. Read it. Moving on, 13 Little Blue Envelopes. Decent book. A girl uh, who receives 13 letters from her aunt and she can only open them once she reaches certain destinations in Europe. It's like a coming of age tale, and it's really nice. I, I like the premise, I like the way she wrote it in some senses, but the problem was I just, I cannot uh, connect to this book, uh, so I kind of fall short on it. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. If you want to read it, I'll be more than happy to send it to you. Moving on though, to Lamb, a book I can most certainly get into. This is about Jesus' missing years in the Bible, where, like, from the ages of 10 to 30, they just left it alone. It's kind of amazing to see how how somebody could take years where there really is no basis to go on and create, like, two decades of time where, uh, <laughs> where Biff is, is helping out Jesus as he's discovering who he is. I'll say read it. And lastly, to end on a good note, part of the Magic or Madness trilogy, this is the third one. Uh, get Magic or Madness first, and then it's Magic something, um, and then it's Magic Show. The Magic or Madness trilogy is written by Justine Larbalastier. I actually got to chat with her through emails for a little bit after I finished this book back in like 2007, 2008, something like that. She's like the nicest woman ever. She's just so cool, and, and she writes amazingly well. She wrote three books that take place over the span of five days and it took three years for them to come out. I really wish I had just taken five days. I would love to gone through it. Um, it's just a great book. I, I love how she writes it. Uh, it's about Reason Cancino, a girl who is now living with her grandmother who she fears immensely after having to leaving her mother because her mother has officially gone insane and has been put in an insane asylum. As it turns out, Reason has magic in her system, um, and that's why she is so immensely good at math. Her magic is math-based. Your magic can be based on anything. Like, there's one person whose magic is based on dancing. There's one whose magic is based on shapes, uh, and that's what helps them to be such a good designer of clothes. The only thing that makes magic bad in this case is that if you use your magic it is going to slowly drain your life. Uh, most people who use their magic don't make it to 30. Uh, if you use it very sparingly you might make it to 40. However, if you don't use your magic you may live much longer but you will lose your mind. I don't know, I don't know what I was going to go with there other than you'll lose your mind. You go insane. You go insane. Hence magic or madness. I love the idea that magic is not this amazingly happy thing that, you know, works well for you all the time and that you have to actually make a decision here about the whole ordeal. I cannot suggest this trilogy enough. It's my, one of my favorite trilogies. I won't say it is my favorite. 
Actually, you know what? Yes. Yes, I'm going to say it's my favorite trilogy. It's a grade three books. You'll love it. Just read it. I promise you, you won't regret it. For those of you who are going to ask, the song in the outro is Mine All the Time by Stephanie Berlanga. Uh, you can find a link down, uh, a link, you can find a link down below to her YouTube page. Uh, it's XX Finding Emo XX. Uh, she actually just posted today a music video for songs The Way Things Go. Uh, it's really good. I like it. She also posted the behind the scenes. Uh, she's just such a down to earth type of person and she just seems like go check it out um, I'll have a little like thing here at the bottom in the bottom corner because uh, I figured out how to do picture in picture now so <laughs> this is going to be a little thing down the bottom and you can click on that and that'll take you there and yeah so you know talk to you guys later bye